I'm Mark Calloway, AC Applications Engineer for Man and Machine. Today I'm going to give you a quick overview of some of the main new features introduced in Revit 2019. If you want to see a full list of the main features introduced in Revit 2019, check out my blog linked in the description. So firstly I'm going to launch the sample architecture project which comes preloaded with Revit and straight away one of the new features you'll be able to spot is this new tab system um, which is available at the top of the main project window um, so what this is as I open up additional views these views are going to create their own tabs running across the top of the project window this makes it easier to navigate between open views but the best part is if I click hold and drag one of these tabs it launches that view in its own window now this is part of Autodesk's drive to make Revit uh, multi-screen friendly so these new windows can be maximized on other screens allowing you to work on multiple screens with multiple views at the same time now I can see this being quite a big game changer for most people out there that use Revit uh, for quite a long time Revit has been a single screen application uh, but nowadays most people do have multiple screens I myself have three screens so this is going to be a massive benefit to myself um, so this is one of the um, although it's a small addition to Revit is going to be quite a quite a big game changer and the next thing that we have within Revit uh, if I go to a 3D view is we can now have levels available in 3D views so if I go into visibility graphics uh, scroll down to levels uh, annotation levels here we go and turn levels on in 3D view you now have access to your levels um, which are you can select you can edit and um, the main drive behind this is to make um, orientating um, elements within Revit within the 3D view a lot easier um, something I'm, I'm going to enjoy playing around with um, again another small addition that I can see um, making life a lot easier for a lot of people that use Revit um, thirdly uh, the next new feature introduced is um, with views they're now they can now be uncropped uh, so I just go to an existing 3d view um, so this is a section perspective so at the moment we have this crop window which everyone will be used to within Revit um, before I turn off the crop windows there is a few new settings available uh, so if I select the crop window right click uh, we now got this reset crop boundary to model so that's automatically going to resize the crop window to fit the entire model and then the second one is we've got the reset crop boundary to screen and what that's going to do is it's going to extend that crop window to the size of my screen um, so as you can see that's just within within the boundary of the uh, the window and if I zoom out a little um, it just extends uh, the crop window um, but the big new feature is you can now disable having cropped windows within your 3D views uh, so if I head over to the properties for this 3D view and I untick crop view I am now no longer limited by having a crop border around my 3D view and uh, this is something that's going to make um, uh, it's, it's a good feature to have um, and I can see a lot of people um, making use of this so the next feature that I want to go through is we can now have double fill patterns within Revit um, so if I just zoom in here you can see there's a, there's a fill pattern here uh, for this material another fill pattern here uh, the floor um, in this living room has a has a fill pattern but you can now have double fill patterns um, now we can change this on fill regions and we can change this on materials so I'll quickly show you both so if I go to my manage tab I'm going to go to materials and I'm just going to select the first material in the list 
um, and if I just expand this window you can now see for surface patterns we now have a foreground pattern and a background pattern and to best show you that I'm just going to go into a level and I'm going to create a filled region uh, so I'm going to go to annotate regions and filled region I'm just going to draw a small filled region here like so so it's already, already put a, a fill in there but if I edit this uh, we've got this foreground uh, fill and we've got a background fill um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a foreground fill onto this um, I'm just going to pick something uh, different to what's already on there so I'm going to go for some vertical lines I might change the colour of that to green I'm going to OK that So you can now have double fill patterns within Revit, uh, which is going to in increase um, the combination of, of patterns available to, to people. So the next new addition that we have to Revit is the um, Steel Discipline. Um, so it now exists as its own tab up in the uh, ribbon bar um, next to Architecture, Structure and Systems. Um, if I just click on there, we can see we've got some new functions available to us. Um, so we've got some fabrication elements here, we can have plates, uh, you can now add bolts uh, within Revit, you can weld uh, two elements together, um, you can now cut corners on plates, um, we can now have cup, um, skewed cups, um, you can shorten um, existing elements, uh, we've got contour cuts, uh, we can do cup, uh, Mitre, there's a, a few options available here including flange and web um, you can do cut throughs and as well as adding these steel elements um, Revit now also has greater interoperability with advanced steel um, so it makes working between the two applications a lot smoother um, the last um, new feature that I want to demonstrate for you today is you can now split railings um, so I'm just going to go back to my 3D view and there's some railings on the default architectural project within Revit. Um, so again it's a small addition uh, but something that people that do a lot of railings are, are going to benefit from. Uh, so I'm just going to go back to my modify tab. Uh, I'm going to select split and what this will allow me to do is not only split the railing um, but the paths um, the draw paths for the railings are now independent from each other. Uh, so if I select one railing and edit path, you'll see that it now has its own separate path um, compared to the rest of the railing. So this is a nice new feature for people uh, that draw or do a lot of work with railings within Revit. So that covers most of the um, menu features introduced in Revit 2019. Um, if you go to my blog linked in the description, it does give you a full list of um, features. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you found this, uh, this video insightful. Uh, thank you.